G'day team, today we are hanging out at Hennessy's Hill, it's a downhill uh, mountain bike track, I believe they've held the um, Queensland downhill champs here quite a few times, uh, located just sort of south of Biwa, Glasshouse Mountains, um, did an enduro last weekend and definitely need to practice the old skills both downhill, the cornering, the dropping and all those bits and pieces, so thought what better place to come and um, do that here. Hennessy's is apparently named after some of the original white settlers or white landholders that were here and um, it's also known as Beery's I believe, you can find it on trail forks I think under Beery's track. We're going to head down there, there's two lines, we're going to take the left line, I've just done it once, it's um, in pretty good nick as you can see I'm sweating my ass off, just made a couple adjustments to the bike that I needed to sort out, that's mostly for the climbing, I needed to fix the seat up a little, um, needed to get up a bit taller, feel a bit more comfortable. So we're going to head down, as you'll see, I'm not, uh, I'm not on all the A-lines, but um, let's go and have a look at this track and see what you think. Yo. Let's do it. Off we go. Rock here that we're going to avoid. Those doubles that I can't jump, yeah, followed by another one. I'm gonna avoid that rock. Oh, I'll the wrong line there. Can't quite clear that one. There's a little one which I can just make. I have a little rock garden. Got another little rock garden. We can jump. I'm not going to win anything with my runs, so we've got improvement like the little rock garden down the ledge. Skip. Another little rock garden. We hit that one a bit quicker. all in a bit more so jump for me I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable oh, heart race starts to get up get to that tree wrong line again oh yeah in the corner I do struggle with this stuff not gonna lie oh, I think we're about halfway pretty gnarly track it's fun Track splits here. Left is a rock garden, which you've got to contend with. It's not too bad. Just be careful to get onto the right line. There's a double there, which I'm not quick enough to deal with. Through. We're almost down at the bottom. We are not hitting that because I'm too scared over this one, we drop off that one, we roll that, we drop this, around this corner, so I must, like the rock section, avoid that big rock, so I can't jump it, here we're almost at the bottom, I take this high line rightly or wrongly, The left track at Hennessy's. Current heart rate's 172, so I started on about 85. Oh. Yeah. Now we've got about climb of about a kilometre. Which, uh, unless anything interesting happens, we'll definitely speed up for you. I've just put my seat up to try and help with a little bit of knee pain I've had climbing, so. Whew. It's 
definitely um definitely my best run down there that was good i was happy with that we go there's two ways up i take the road there is a track on the other side it's uh too much hiker bike for me i don't mind the climbing it's good to help with the fitness Oh, putting that seat up's made a world of difference for the climbing. That knee pain's gone already, which is great. All right, we're still climbing. Heart rate's still high, it's buggery, 160. Which for me is right underneath my threshold. So from my triathlon days, it's about uh, half marathon pace or effort you can see hopefully some of the track over there one of the rock gardens we go through this bike isn't super suited to uh probably people a lot faster than me down this track 130 front 130 rear it's a bit light on but yeah that'll sort of dob that suspension a bit more it's definitely uh definitely improved heaps jumps a bit more consistently lands without bottoming out well wheels not hitting the saddlebag anymore which is good probably just over halfway up we'll do a couple more runs today don't want to go overboard i've got a four hour enduro which is, sorry a four hour xc type race on the weekend so tonight we want to do some climbing work and, and recover for the uh next couple of days as you can see it's a pretty reasonable climb it's about a kilometer i think so, nothing like the couple of caves I was climbing the other day, but definitely convenient to uh, just ride up, bomb down, ride up, bomb down, very enduro like, which is great. Yeah, heart rate climbing still 166. I wouldn't climb this hard, uh, I think, on the weekend. On the climbs, I wasn't getting anywhere near this high. Um, but, uh, definitely got <laughs> a lot higher heart rate on the way down which uh, <coughs> was probably adrenaline and uh, obviously working pretty hard <coughs> Excuse me. it's a completely new skill set for me and uh, yeah I'm not uh, not that strong when coming down. Got all my race gear on, which is a bit wanky. I know. Got the full face, the goggles, and the knee pads, but <coughs> just want to be safe <laughs> more than anything. Oh, what else have I got? I've got uh, also trolling some. Uh, the new, well I don't know if they're new, but my new 100% bib shorts and the 100% enduro shorts, enduro bib and enduro shorts. So far really good. It's got uh, the, so the shorts have got a zip pocket on the left, which I've left open and nothing's fallen out. So good. I don't have to go and look for my phone, that would have been silly. It's got a Velcro pocket on the right leg. For those, you know, you might want to put a bar or something here. If you're that way inclined. I'd rather uh, just use this. The infinite, which I can't use from the helmet on. Put a tool in there. I got just two normal 
<coughs> normal pockets so chuck your wallet in there wear it to the shops or whatever the bib shorts seem really good nice and comfy um, they've got a removable three pocket so the pocket zip off on the back it's under your shirt but in the leg they've also got a couple of pockets on each side so right now I've got four five six basically nine little pockets you go for a day trip just about you probably want to take more water Whew. we're almost at the top you can go the long way or you can take the shortcut shortcuts a little uh steep but uh shortcut's a shortcut couldn't ride it before screwed the line up so we'll have another crack give it another whirl we need to have a spare gear there surely while I was working so hard all right come back down all right up the shortcut here we go I can not botch it this time. Although the legs are feeling it a bit more. Yeah. That's where I came with last time. Gotta get through this soft section. Oh no, wheel spin. Oh. Here we have it. Back to the top. I need the seat up a bit. It now needs to go forward a little bit. But hopefully, won't be too much hassle. that one I'll probably could clear that one with a more speed hit that one Ooh. This could be the second last run the old arms are getting a bit tired after the weekend. Alright, through the rock garden. Good take a little bit there. Over the double which I'm gonna roll because I'm soft. Wrong line through this corner. Definitely hit high fatigue level. Oh, it hasn't hit the bottom. 
bottom section. Got under three minutes. I'll take that as a win. Well, there you have it. Trek down Hennessy's or Berries, depending on where you get the name from. If you want to see more content like that, let us know in the comments. If you want to get me to roll down some tracks as a, as a bit of a newbie, it's, it can be sort of good for you guys who are starting out like me on a bit of a journey on the old mountain bike. Let us know down there. Uh, hit subscribe. We'd love you to do that. Hit that subscribe button, smash it, share it, tell your friends. That would be rad. And uh, make sure you give this a like. So um, we know you appreciate what we're doing. We'll catch you next time.